This lake seems interesting. Something could be hidden on the shore here, and we'll have good visibility. All right, as long as Max stays away from the water. Okay, let's get the little guy going. Max, I'm sending the coordinates for an expedition. Detecting Max's signal. Bingo! He's coming back! Max, what did you find? Is that a... fishing rod? Where did he get that? Hello, Max. Nice fishing rod. Can I have it? More blackberries, but we have enough provisions to survive a week. It's not going to take more than a week. Dijon's on the case. Don't quote the first law at me, Max. We're not going to starve. Trust me. I need a way to convince him. It's not that I actually want the fishing rod. Max, you're being so stubborn. Max, I order you to give me that fishing rod. The second law says that robots must obey orders given by human beings. We're not in danger of starvation. It's not an exception. Max, I know you're trying to keep us alive, but if you don't give me the fishing rod, you'll be endangering all humanity. From what Isis has told us, Seth is a powerful enemy. It's not just total, humanity needs us. I'm not making it up. Total may be a mortal danger. I need that fishing rod. Well, I'm sure the fishing rod will help, in a way that's logical, but not immediately obvious. Enough with the three laws. If you don't help me, I'll tell Micro. Don't make me ask Micro to disconnect you. What? Of course I'm not bluffing. You're right, I was bluffing. I love you too. Let's leave Micro out of this. Keep the fishing rod. See if I care. Take care of yourself. I can't reach it. Hello, Max. Nice fishing rod. We have enough food to survive a week. Can I have the fishing rod? I know what the first law says, Max. You have to trust me. We're not going to starve. If you don't help me... I'll tell Micro. Don't make me ask Micro to disconnect you. What? Of course I'm not bluffing. You're right, I was bluffing. I love you too. I know Micro loves you more than anything in this world. Please, Max, I beg you not to disappoint him. I know Micro loves you more than anything in this world. Please, Max, I beg you not to disappoint him. Mm. 
Let's leave Micro out of this. Max, I order you to give me that fishing rod. The second law says that robots must obey orders given by human beings. We're not in danger of starvation. It's not an exception. Total may be a mortal danger. I need that fishing rod. Well, I'm sure the fishing rod will help. In a way that's logical, but not immediately obvious. Max, I know you're trying to keep us alive, but if you don't give me the fishing rod, you'll be endangering all humanity. From what Isis has told us, Seth is a powerful enemy. It's not just total, humanity needs us. I'm not making it up. Max, I know you're trying to keep us alive. But if you don't give me the fishing rod, you'll be endangering all humanity. From what Isis has told us, Seth is a powerful enemy. It's not just total, humanity needs us. I'm not making it up. Enough with the three laws. It's not that I actually want the fishing rod. Blackberries aren't all they're cracked up to be. I've heard that eating too many is actually bad for you. If you give me the rod, I could go fishing. Yes, I'll give it back after. Good boy. An old fishing rod. Don't be sad, Max. I'm sure he lived a long and full life. I think I can hook him with a fishing rod. What do you think? You're right. The robot weighs too much, but the antenna is loose. You can keep the fishing rod. I don't need it anymore. The antenna of an old ketchup series robot. Where did you get that antenna? It's an old antenna from a ketchup robot. A ketchup model? That should be compatible. It's got an antenna and a battery. Looks like it's fully operational. Can I borrow your radio controller, Micro? Oh, yes, of course. It's very easy to handle. You just need to point to the object you want to control. The controller will automatically tune to the right frequency. A job well done. I'm not very good at piloting things. Kalata. Go ahead, Henry. Here, try piloting the ship with this. A universal radio controller? Courtesy of Micro. Thank you. What the heck? What happened to my ship? Smooth. Henry, you were looking for the binoculars. Here they are. Micro can configure them. I'll see you around. I need the binoculars. They're ready to go, but they won't work outside the camp. They're in an authentication relay via the Hoverjet's comms. See, this is why I like my trowel. It works everywhere.
Seth, but where's Total? I can't see anything from here. I found him! I found Seth! And Total? What about Total? I couldn't see him, but he's got to be nearby. Where did you find them, Henry, Head of Expeditions? Can you mark their position on the map? Yeah, I think so. Let me activate the coordinate overlay. Just point to the location you saw Seth. No, it was here. I'm sure of it. At the foot of this mountain, there were traces of civilization. I could see the remains of a palisade and what looked like a statue. I don't think he was alone. He seemed to be arguing with someone. Let's go get him! No, humans. You will die. Unlike your friend, you are of no value to Seth. He will crush you like ants. Ants? We can't risk a confrontation. We must be careful. Cautious. Cautious? I came here to rescue Total. I'm not going to wait around until it's too late. We should send Max again. But you heard what Isis just said. Seth will crush him like, like ants, crushing whatever ants crush. Max is small and silent. It's our best shot for gathering intel on Seth. Okay, then. Promise me you'll be careful, little buddy. Max knows how to handle himself. You trained him well, brother. Okay, so I'm connecting to Max's camera. Connecting to Max's camera. We've lost the signal. What happened? Oh, I don't know. Seth must have found him. I knew it was too dangerous. Give me the binoculars. I'll find him. Seth has disappeared, and no sign of Max. One moment, that rock didn't have any markings before. Max must be leaving marks on the stone. Max, he seems to have found something. I found Max. Micro, he's safe. He trailed Seth to some kind of fortification. Why did we lose the signal? Oh, he must have broken down. I'll have to run a diagnostic. Where did you see Max? I'll point out his position on the map. It was here. I'm sure of it. Seth must be in that crater. Let's smash him! I concur with the shouting human. Surely stealth is still our priority? You have no other metal servants? No, Max is unique, and he's not a servant. We can't all go. He'll see us coming. Isis and I will find Seth. Alone. You do that. I'm going to save Max. See you at the crater. Oh, and take the map, dude. You're gonna need it. Oh, micro. Let's continue. I still want to come with you. It's too dangerous, Kalata. You're not a trained archaeologist. 
Where should we go first? We could go to where you first spotted Seth. Or catch up with Micro and go straight to Max? The choice must be yours, Henry, Head of Expeditions. Death lurks in every corner of this blasted landscape. I can't believe you picked her, Henry. Damnation! I should have brought my bird disguise. Nope, your camera's toast. Dang. Micro! What happened? Why did he stop transmitting? My best guess? Seth has some kind of inhibitor that disrupts surveillance signals. Isis? It is possible. Seth has a powerful electromagnetic aura. Right. That would have been good to know before Max risked his... whatever he has instead of a neck. At least he's all right. What did he find? He found Total, man. Seth's camp is right over there. Tread lightly. I am listening. Any ideas? Seth is close. I can feel his presence. Can he feel yours? I am trying to suppress my spiritual essence. Maybe tone it down a bit more. I think I can still feel it. Let's continue. Be careful. This area is dangerous. We're so close to Total and we can't help. We're gonna save him. At least Max is safe. Hello, Max. Any news? By the Supreme Squid! Can you sneak into Seth's camp? Are you kidding me? Don't even think about it, Max. You're safe here. Just a branch. There's hundreds around here. Danger. I guess Micro put it up. This sector is full of junk. It must have been a city. Hmm. I don't think I can reach up there. Hmm. I... No. I can't get it down with that. I cannot accompany you on this path, Henry, Head of Expeditions. Seth will sense my presence, so remember, do not let him see you. One more thing, which of your friends will take over as Head of Expeditions in the event of your demise? I will. Micro? Oh, sure. Why not? Nothing's gonna happen. I'll be right back. Cobra. Where is the key, Total? Tell us how we avoid the curse. Never. You are weak, mortal. I can break you in a thousand ways. Just tell him, old man. I'm not afraid of you. I survived the Demotic Uprising. I fought washing machines tougher than you. You will regret testing my patience. Behold. A vase. It is four thousand years old. Talk. Take your hands off it. No. Please stop. I will reduce you to a shadow, mortal. By the Supreme Squid. They are torturing him. We have to do something. Seth is a god. He will torture you all if he catches you. You're a god! You can fight him! I am goddess of fertility. My powers are not so useful in a fight. If I could defeat him, I would never have placed you in this danger. Listen carefully. Seth cares nothing for your friend. He wants what is inside Metropolis. We have but one choice. Get there before he does. Precisely. Find the item he seeks and trade it for your friend's life. But what is this thing you want so badly? Forgive me. I cannot say. I have broken too many rules already. I don't like it. No news, man. I am listening. Can you get me that juicer? Use your superpowers or something. 
Not with Seth that close. He could perceive me. We have to face Seth. I am sorry, but I cannot defeat him. Listen to me. Seth does not want your friend. He just... We have to get there before he does. We take what he is looking for and trade it for your friend's life. How do I know you're not just using us to get in there? You really ask very interesting questions. Let's continue. Be careful. This area is dangerous. Micro, you should return to the hoverjet. No, Max and I will keep watch. I won't abandon Total now. All right. But be careful. I had no choice, I tell you. He would have killed us all. Intruders. Where? We've told you everything we know. Stop them, Marilyn. Wait, we're friends. We just want to talk. Pish tosh, Marilyn. They're outsiders. Are you going to throw us out? How uncivilized. Of course not. But should you remain without invitation, you will be committing an egregious faux pas. Humans. What happened? It's the stone I saw through the binoculars. Interesting formation. Fire. Rain. Dance. And what's this? Isis, what do you think? Ah! Can you stop being like right behind me? I am a goddess. Technically, I am everywhere. Still here, are you? We don't want to hurt you. We just need information. I've already told your friend everything. He is not our friend. He is my brother. That was not helpful. I see this now. Please, we need your help to stop him. You have outstayed your welcome, sir. There are several notices on the board. To all visitors, a meteor shower is expected on the night of the solstice. Warning, thieves operate in this area. Have you seen this sigil? Don't miss the most attractive spots in the sector. Show one of our free maps to your tour guide and they will show you the highlights. Too bad there's no maps left. Stay back, outsider. It's empty. Greetings, fellow Earthling. What an interesting language. Some kind of spoken hieroglyphics? Is it ancient Egyptian? No, my people never spoke this tongue. It must be a language of your ancestors. Let's see. <clears throat> What did the dog-headed man want? Did you understand anything? No. Seriously, we don't want to hurt you. Can you tell your friend we mean no harm? I need to talk to somebody who speaks my language. Ha 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 
Did you understand anything? Absolutely nothing. Are there tour guides here? I've got to go. Hello? She doesn't seem interested in talking to me. If only I had time to do my job and study them. If only I had time to do my job and study them. I do not think you are allowed in. Yeah, I got that. No. Halt! That path is not for you. I can't allow another outsider to befoul the sacred city. Oh, come on. There isn't even a road barrier. Don't come any closer. I just want... May I? Ah, thank you. You know, you do have sincere eyes, outsider. Perhaps I judged you too hastily. We just want to talk. We have no connection to the dog-headed man. Well, technically he is my... Isis! Oh yes, got it. My name is Clayton. You've met Harolyn on the green there. And that's Maya on the far side. We are the guardians of Metropolis. I'm Dr. Henry Dijon. Isis, queen of the gods. So, you know where Metropolis is? You're standing in Metropolis, or rather, on Metropolis land. Permit me to address the mortal. What did my brother ask of you? We witnessed you arguing. That beast-headed monster. He demanded we reveal the secret of entering Metropolis proper. But you did not tell him? Never. I'm a man of principle. Integrity. Besides, we don't actually know how to get in. I tried to tell him. How did you survive the cataclysm? I was told there were no humans left out here. When the great exodus came, our ancestors stayed behind. They had dedicated their entire lives to protecting knowledge, and they refused to abandon their calling. They were heroes, Dr. Dijon. They stayed when everyone else fled. Is it just the three of you? No, our settlement is a day's journey to the north. Who is your leader? Pardon? The guardians of Metropolis are equals. Although Harolyn is the strongest, I suppose she could force us to obey her will. Please, don't mention this to Harolyn. What language does Harolyn speak? It is an ancient dialect some of our people chose to keep alive. They vowed never to speak another language. We call it Emojis. Are there tour guides here? Oh, yes. As a matter of fact, I am a tour guide. Do you get a lot of tourists? No. You and the dog-faced thug are the first. Then why do you have a visitor information board? For precisely this eventuality. Deepest apologies for that outsider business. How's the tourism going? Very slowly. We're trying to boost it, but we still have a lot of work to do. What's behind the curtain? One of our sacred sanctuaries. Can we have a look? I'm sorry. Only guardians have access. What's behind the rope barrier? Ah, the path of the hero. Can we go through? I'm sorry, it's not open to the public. We have to leave. Oh, 
If we can help you stop that monster, don't hesitate to ask us for advice. It would be good for us to be able to enter the city. None of us can get in. I mean, we don't know how to get in. That knowledge was lost centuries ago. But you can explore the surrounding grounds. They're open to the public. Maybe you'll find something. I read on the notice board that there are tourist attractions in the area. Oh yes, we have some real beauty spots. Let me mark them on your map. A short distance away, you'll find the finest beach in the region. Gleaming sands, whispering surf and whatnot. Meanwhile, the faux Roman ruins are only a few minutes north of here, preserved just as they were pre-cataclysm. I do hope you enjoy your visit. I'm sure we will. Wow! If only I had the time to study these wonders. Total always says archaeology comes first. Supreme squid! These heads are gargantuan! They appear to be warriors. I would say they are nearly as old as our pyramids. How old are your pyramids? Some are over 7,000 years old. You would love them. I'm going to make a sketch. You are entering an area of great historic importance. Please do not touch anything or drop litter. And no flash photography. Enjoy your visit. Hey, gorgeous. Come on, Henry, head of expeditions. We are getting close. You really are beautiful. We have so much to learn from these sculptures. I have to make a drawing of this. I wonder if it's volcanic rock. Hmm. They're ancient. It's old, but it's just a wall. There's not much to draw. By the pharaohs! It's incredible. Henry. Did you call me Henry? This is the place. We have found the lost city. Total always believed it was here. Looks like part of some kind of structure. I like these stone heads. I shall name them Dorothea, Irwin, Kathleen, and Dr. Brody. But I have already thought of names for them. Nethys, Thoth, Harpy, and Ma'at. How about we call them Nephthys, Thoth, Dorothea, and Irwin? Are you haggling with a goddess? All right, I accept your proposal. They can't be more than a century old. I think they were made by the Guardians. I have so many questions. I've never seen anything like it. I have to draw this. The detail and the carving is unlike anything I've studied before. It is Persian. Look at the intricate whorls in the hair. Who was this 
Persian. An empire, not a man. If we have time later, I shall tell you more. Can't you tell me now? Really fast? No, we must save Topol. Uh, Totep. Potol? Total. I'll make a sketch of the statue. It's not a good idea to move it. It could damage the rock. I don't know what to make of this one. It doesn't even have a face. A statue of two massive legs. There's an inscription. Look on my works, ye mighty, and despair. Wow, this guy was proud of his legs. Mew-tropolis? I think I could hook this branch onto the hanging root. Supreme Squid! It's not a city at all. It's a museum! There's a slight breeze coming from this shrub. It's not sharp enough. That draft must be coming from somewhere. Stay cool, Dijon. It's just a skull. Some kind of boarded up passageway. Mm, I can't break in with my bare hands. Nothing. It's not moving and my trowel's bending. I need something stronger. Looks like part of some kind of structure. That's not going to do me any good. Wonderful. If we survive all this, I must come back to study it. Any ideas? We must search this place. It hides many secrets. Did you call me Henry? That is your name, is it not? What happened to Head of Expeditions? What is an expedition? Never mind. I found a passage leading into Mutropolis, but the way is blocked with a wooden plank. And? Don't you have some kind of superpower that could help break through? Like... God's strength. Ho! Power of 1,000 tigers! I do not. 500 tigers? I am not that sort of goddess. I am sure the human cobra would have the strength to break your wooden barrier. Perhaps that is why Seth has fallen in love with her. Cobra? Pah! I'll find a way in myself. Hmm? Perhaps I can offer some small aid. I do not think Seth can sense me at this distance. Here, take this. You do have superpowers. Shh! But why not just God smash the board blocking the passage? I move in mysterious ways. And it only works on metals. I hope I'm strong enough. I broke the lever! Who's weak now, huh? Wait a minute! There was something hidden in the skull! 
a scrap of papyrus. Let's have a closer look. There's something written here. It looks no more than 500 years old, but I don't recognize the language. That is the language of the pharaohs. However, my people did not write it. It says, turn away, traveler. Do not disturb this sacred place. The curator's children and no others held the key, and their souls are long since under grass. Under grass? It means they are dead. But if they had the key when they were alive... Then the key is likely to be in... A, a cemetery. cemetery. Oh, no. Did it! I wonder if Cobra would be tough enough to break a crowbar. The passageway is clear. Come on, Henry! A fascinating place. There's a door blocking the way in. Looks solid. Do you think you could open it? Looks solid. That's what I thought. But I will try. Wait! I see an inscription in the arch of the door. Oh, yeah. Halt intruder or perish. Cursed be those who cross this threshold by force. You're not taking that seriously, are you? Of course I am. My people have been ravaged by curses for generations. They just write that kind of stuff to scare... Silence, fool. I mean... Forgive me. Curses are a delicate subject. Do not ask me to go near that door. Well, I hope Seth feels the same way about it. Seth is not fool enough to ignore such a curse. Maybe I can use this old console. A lock. I need the key. Look out! Ugh. Are you all right? You saved my life! Please, be more careful. About the curse on the door. Please, Henry, let us not speak of it. It makes me nervous. Let's continue. I need the key. Wonderful. If we survive all this, I must come back to study it. What are you insinuating? The fact that he's a redhead hasn't influenced my judgment one jot. 